yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Shadow Go Get a Types YouTube channel back again with another video for you. Uh, this video is the continuation to the last video in regards to the COVID-19, COVID-19 um, 2020 graduation t-shirt design. Um, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm going <clears> to <throat> get into the software that I use. You know how I des well not how I design it. Pretty much just how you 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 save this and then you put this onto you know your US cutter. Um, if you have the SC edition, you know you go to Sure Cut Select Pro, um, basically. So let's see, we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a new project. Yeah. All right. So first and foremost, you know. What I would do, you know, whatever software you're using, you know, for my my instance, I have Photoshop. Um, I had this for over like 10 years. Long story short, yeah, it works for me. I started off on GIMP, the little GIMP software. I think it's still free. I'm not too sure, but it's G-I-M-P. Um, I forgot what it says, it's like graphics interchange, something, something, something. But I'm pretty sure you can Google it. If I find it, I'll put it in a link. But uh, yeah, you start off there. Long story short, you make your design. Um, make your design and all that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Blend the images. La da dee, la da da. This, this image is for sale. You know, if you, you know, are a rookie at, you know, um, design and all that, this is for sale. And basically, you can purchase this if you need be. All right, cool. So basically, you finish your design, right? Um, I'm using Photoshop, whatever software you should use. Uh, you go to save as all right so basically I'm going to go to save as and let's see hold on let's see let's see let's see I'm going to save this as a JPEG Boop -doop -doop. save it as JPEG I saved it as uh, COVID copy I'm just type COVID shirt there we go there we go COVID shirt got to do it again because it didn't load up as JPEG all right JPEG save so it's gonna be saved to the desktop. We're gonna say send it to the desktop. Twelve, yeah, 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 buddy. Always make keep your design in black and white. You know what I'm saying? Even even if you're going, even if it's gonna be in color, uh, what works best for me, I save it in black and white. That way, you know, you you just can't. It's a lot more easier. You know, it's a lot more easier. You can separate the colors a little simpler. So let's say for example, if this was gonna be red, this little top part gonna to be red. Once I go to shortcuts a lot, once I go to the software, I'm gonna just cancel that. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna minimize this, okay? All this stuff on my desktop. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go to shortcuts a lot. And basically, all right, so we already opened up a new one. So you can go to file, new project. And this is, once again, this is for the, the SC, US Cutter SC plotter. This is not the SC2. The SC2 does contour cutting. I still cut mine out by hand. I need to update because I like that. I like that. But um, I ain't updated yet. So we got a new project, right? We're going to click on this icon. So click on this icon, auto trace image. We're going to browse. And you know, we saved it to the desktop. So we're going to go to the desktop and then we're going to go to covidshirt.jpg. Don't go to this other one because it ain't gonna open. All right, so we're gonna click open. Um, whatever, whatever, don't fuck with none of this. If you fuck with some of this, then you're gonna fuck up. Just keep, you know, just stick with the auto trace. That's all I do. You don't need to do nothing else. All right, boom. Okay, so now we're here. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm trying to do this with two, you know, with two hands I need to do it, but I'm holding the camera in my other hand. Um, Hold on, let's see, let's see. I'm going to hold, somebody texting me. All right, I'm gonna hold this, you know, click that. And then the shift key, so it keeps everything, dis, you know, the distortion, you know, cause if you don't hold a shift key, it's gonna be looking stupid. Like that looks dumb. This look crazy. All right, boom. So we're gonna undo all that, make it look normal. Click on this edge, hold the shift key. There we go. So since this is a male shirt, you know, I'm a, um, it's an extra large t-shirt. Basically, I'm going to, 
Uh, maybe I usually keep it at like 11 or 12. I'm going to keep it at like 12. Yeah, so we're going to do it like 11 and a half. For male shirts, you know, over a large, I usually go 12. But, you know, 11, 12 is cool. It all depends on your shirt, too. But, yeah, this works for me. And then, you know, when you're making vinyl t-shirts, you always want to flip the image. So, let's say if you want to flip it, you know, this is two different ways you can flip it. Right? You can turn it upside down. It just flip. It's just either way it flips. You know what I'm saying? No matter how you do it, it's going to flip. It's going to be backwards. So, boom, whatever it is. You can flip it. Um, since I make my own designs, I've never quite gone to these other little tools. Like this two, I've never been in this two. I don't even know what the hell it does. Um, I don't know what this do. I don't even mess with that. I mess with this, of course. That's how you cut it. I mess with this. I don't mess with this. I don't mess with that. Um, I don't mess with that. I don't mess with this. What the hell is this? This looks like something that needs to be back in like, you know, the 90s with those floppy disks or the regular the disk drive junks. All right. So, yeah, that's the only thing I mess with. You know what I'm saying? All of this stuff, this is just telling you like the size and position. Like so if, if you move this, you know, you retarded. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say retarded, but you ain't got to be doing all that. Just drag the jump and drop the jank. That's all you need to do. These little these little shapes, I ain't never mess with this. Because once again, I do everything on Photoshop. But I think what you could do, um, I guess you can make your own little shapey shapes. Like you want to harden that jump. You know, it looks stupid. But I mean, it is what it is. If, you, if you're starting out, you don't have any software. You know, I highly recommend uh, downloading that free software. I think it's still free. It's called GIMP. Um, hit the thumbs up if you want me to do it like a tutorial on GIMP or Photoshop, like a basic giant. Okay. Um, but yeah, you got your shapes. Uh, you got all your little shapes. Do, do, do. I've never even been in here. Oh, flip flops. Let me see this. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, you can do little flip flops. I don't like it though, but yeah, I've never even been in here for real. Tags, I guess, you know, this is dope. Hmm. So it's, it's a lot of um convenient, convenient little tools in here. Um, You know, if you're making decals, I can see, you know, if you're making little decals and stuff like that, Um, you can have little shapes. Um, this would be like, like a nice little teacher tool kit, you know. But let me get back on track. I'm going to close this out. I never used it. Never used it. All right. But I also noticed they have fonts and all types of little things in there. All right. So what I'm going to do. All right. My shit is already connected. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And this should take a hot minute. God damn. So when it, when it comes to this page here, I don't mess with none of this. Don't mess with this, 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 none of that. Um, this is the direction it's going to be cutting out of. So when you load up your your, your um, cutter, it's going to come out that way. You know, and since we got the U.S. cutter and it cuts, you know, this is a 15 by 5 yard roll. You know, we have enough space that way. So all it is, is just... You know, it's going this way. It's going to cut exactly how it looks like right here. This is your cutter. That's your cutter. And that's where it's going. The direction is going to flow. All right. So then we're going to cut. I don't mess with none of that. I don't do print cut. I don't do none of that. Cut. And it's cutting. And it's going to take a hot minute for it to cut. I got a couple videos on the stash uh, for this one, this one, this one. But um, you can check my pressure. This is my pressure here. The speed is 300. Um, I would recommend never put it, never put the speed over 400. Never put the speed over 400. Uh, basically, you know, just don't do it. Um, the pressure 147. The pressure can depend. Uh, 
uh, this this bottle that I got is from Remco. It's called G Flex, and this bottle is thick. It's thick as a bitch. So I bumped it up to 147, and it works for me. Like um, I've gone as low as uh, there we go, <laughs> even low as uh, 30 something. But um, yeah. Um, but the last step, the last step after this basically is to take your shirt, put it on your heat press, and you got it. That's about it. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, share it with your friends, any kind of t-shirt communities, just share it. And peace out. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. All right. And this is the finished product uh, from the... Um, U.S. cutter after finish cutting, finish weeding, finish doing all that tedious, tedious, tedious work. Uh, you got a finished product right here. Um, everything is is on there. You know the pressure is right, the feel is right, everything just perfect, perfect, perfect. Now you know I, I am gonna offer this as an option to purchase. Um, you know um, it does depend uh, what you would have to do is you have to go to the website, um, email me, and basically, oh, I'm a little ashy, great day. Just basically email me, um, you know, the color scheme that you want, maybe the school can be right there, or something like that. You know, if you guys just don't wanna just buy the template, you can just, you know, buy this, um, you know, you can just buy the, whatchamacallit, you can just buy the shirt straight up, uh, plus shipping, it'd be like $25. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure you hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, double like, create like 20 accounts just to like this one video. Um, at a hundred some subscribers, I like to appreciate and thank all of my new subscribers. I really appreciate H, yes, appreciate H. I got more videos on the way. Um, yeah, and just make sure y'all comment, 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 comment with ideas you want to see next on the page all right peace